So, EA just dropped the top 22 highest rated players in FIBA 22, as well as Chelsea dropping some confirmed ratings and some more confirmed ratings here and there. Let's jump straight into it. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. I kind of want to start with Chelsea because I just like, I don't know, some of these, some of these, um... Some of these ratings are interesting. So, so Chelsea dropped a, a bunch of their like highest rated players on there. We've got Kante at 90, deserved in my opinion. Lukaku 88, deserved. Jorginho 85, I think is pretty fair. Silver at uh, 85, Werner 84, and Havertz 84. I'm interested in Havertz. I don't think Havertz deserves 84 personally. I think he deserves. I don't think he deserved a downgrade in my opinion. Um, very interesting there. I'm surprised Ziyech and Havertz are the same rating there. Uh, then we've got Azpilicueta 83, interesting. Pulisic 82. I'm not entirely sure how, like, Azpi and Haver Havertz get downgraded, but Pulisic gets upgraded. I don't get how EA kind of come to these conclusions, but it's fair enough. Uh, Reese James, 81, which is decent. Um, so they're sort of like Chelsea's ones. We've seen a few people um, tweet out some individual ratings, which I'll show you guys in the video. But we have the top 22, and I wanted to go through this. Now... The main one for me, obviously, Ronaldo's been downgraded to 91, Lewandowski's 92, and Messi's 93. I have no problem with Lewandowski being 92. I'm not entirely sure I agree with Ronaldo being downgraded. I thought there wasn't really much more he could have done next last year to, to keep his rating. Um, to me, Ronaldo was top scorer in, 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 in his league, top scorer in the Euros. Uh, I don't know what more Ronaldo could have done, right, in my opinion, to stay at 92. I don't think he deserved a, a 91 downgrade. I do agree that Lewandowski deserved a 92 upgrade, but I don't agree that Ronaldo deserved the 91 downgrade. Just in my opinion, anyway. Obviously, I'm a Man United fan. I'm biased. Make of it what you will. Uh, De Bruyne still at 91, which is interesting. I thought after half a season injured, with how harsh he have been with certain players, I'm surprised De Bruyne kept his 91 rating, but that's fair enough. We've got Mbappe at 91, Neymar at 91, All Black at 91 as, as expected. Kane at 90, pretty expected, pretty deserved upgrade for Kane. Kante at 90, I thought it's pretty deserved. Uh, you know, obviously a, a good season for Kante, UEFA Player of the Year and whatnot. Uh, Neuer at 90, to Stegen kept his 90 rate as well. Um, I thought he might have lost his rating, but apparently not. Um, we've got Salah at 89. I do not get it. I don't get it. I don't understand how Salah's got... I'm a Man United fan, all right? The last thing I want to sit there and do is blow smoke up Salah's behind. I just don't get how on earth Salah has been downgraded to 89. It makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I just don't get it. I don't get how that's happened, to be honest. Um... Salah's somehow been downgraded to 89, and he's somehow on the same level as Son and Mane. Mane, to me, should be a rating lower. S Salah should be a rating or two higher. Like, and this, like, I would sit there and I would not be angry if Salah was 91 and Ronaldo was 91. I wouldn't be angry about it. I'm a United fan. I just, I don't get it. I just don't understand how on earth Salah has had a downgrade. I know Liverpool, as a team, haven't had the best performance last year. But we're talking about individual player ratings. Allison's also had a downgrade. Van Dijk's had a downgrade, but somehow also had a pace upgrade at the same time. I don't get how you can be out for an entire year and gain and gain pace. That one it doesn't make sense to me, but fair enough. I expected the Van Dijk downgrade. He was out for pretty much the entire year. That's expected. Um, but yeah, gaining pace that way, I don't understand. Kimmich at 89 is expected. Uh, Son at 89, we already knew that. Apparently he's five-star, five-star as well, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Alisson at 89, I think it's a little bit harsh, but understandable as well. Uh, Courtois and Edison also at 89, which is, again, understandable. Um, you know, I think that an upgrade for, for, for Edison and Courtois is pretty fair. And Cas oh, I think Courtois is actually still 89. I think he was 89 last year. Casemiro at 89 is fair enough. Mane, I think, is very, very, very generous. Donnarumma and Mane, very generous. I think 89 for Donnarumma is crazy. I think an 87 is, or an 88 would be fair. An 89 is a bit crazy, in my opinion. Uh, Benzema should be a 90. I don't know how he's not. Mane is very generous. Mane is very generous. I'm very surprised at Mane. I think he's very generous. Um, I, I, it just, like, look, I'm not particularly really angry. I'll be honest with you. I'm not, like... I love FIFA. I love playing FIFA. So I'm excited for the new FIFA regardless. And that Ronaldo card still looks fantastic. And he obviously still gets links to my United players. He's in the Premier League. So I'm still going to use that card next year and love him. You know what I mean? I just think... I just, like, I just don't get where EA have come to these conclusions. I would love to know how EA figure these ratings out. I think there's just some very, very harsh downgrades. Some very interesting upgrades. 
some very generous downgrades. It's, it is interesting. I'd love to hear your comments in the comments down below. Please let me know down below. I'd love to hear all of your opinions down below. Please let me know what your thoughts are down below. Now, we also had some some, some confirmed ratings earlier from, in particular, uh, teams. So, uh, Ed Militao got uh, his, his card uh, shown by Real Madrid. Very nice card. 82 rated, 83 pace, 83 defending, 82 physical. Looks like a great starter card uh, for, for people's... Uh, oh, I say starter. That card's going to be like 100k, maybe. Uh, it looks like a, a very good... Um, center back for people's teams. Looks like a fantastic center back. Uh, Ruben Diaz was shown to be an 87 rated card. We have no idea his stats, but he's an 87 rated center back. That is confirmed. We have no idea what his stats are, though. Fakayo Tomori got confirmed as a 79. Looks like a great starter center back. I don't think it'd be too expensive. Got great links now as well with, with the likes of Theo Hernandez having a nice card. Kessie should be a nice card as well. And we also got Skriniar, who's now an 86 rated card. And he got a big pace upgrade to 80 pace as well. So there's a few confirmed. We also have a few of the confirmed, like Schultz. I don't think anyone really cares about Schultz. I mean, Alfonso Davies is 82 rated with a nice card, as he usually gets. Um, we've got the likes of uh, Vinicius Jr. Got confirmed last night. 95 pace at 87 dribbling. Very, very nice card there as well. Try to think if there's anyone else that you guys would particularly be interested in. I mean, I haven't really shown... Obviously, we got um, the new icons. So, we got Robin Van Persie's prime card. We got his, his mid card. And we got his base card. They're very nice. You can you, you can find these on Footbin, by the way. Uh, Footbin's a great website. Uh, not a sponsor or anything like that. I just think they're a great website. We got Cafu. He got confirmed last night as well. Or I think it was Saturday, actually, uh, for Cafu. But we got some nice ratings confirmed. Um, but I, I do think that EA have been very interesting with some of their ratings so far this year. Some more confirmed players we got today were Atletico Madrid players. Now, the standout for me is this Marcos Llorente card. 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting unreal card absolutely unreal card that, that it looks absolutely ridiculous uh we also got correa who's now a striker jar felix is now a board drop uh you know asensio is now a board carrasco is 84 rated yeah so some really nice cards but lorente is a phenomenal looking card a big standout for me now we are supposedly getting um a plus one for bruno at 88 they're ones that have been leaked i don't know if these are confirmed or not but apparently bruno's gonna be 88 um, was there any other leaks that I saw that I was interested in? Um, I can't remember the other leaks if there was any interesting ones. But yeah, I just, in general, I'm not ranting. I'm not angry. I'm not like raging or anything like that. I just think it's very interesting. I thought the fact that Werner and Havertz get a minus one and also Salah get a minus one. Like, I would have thought if, if we're giving minus, like a downgrade for Werner is fair enough. A downgrade for Havertz is harsh, but... You can kind of understand it, but for Salah as well, a guy that was runner up to the to the Golden Boot Award, that if it wasn't for Salah, Liverpool probably wouldn't finish top four last year. I think that's harsh. And then to keep Salah and Mane the same rating, I think is also harsh because I think Salah is, is is levels above Mane in the last couple of years. So to me, I just I don't know. I think that it, it's a bit interesting. Um, you know, there's still some great cards. I'm still very excited. I think it's gonna be some great cards next year. I, I like the difference in leagues as well i think the premier league is gonna be absolutely stacked out of his mind um it's one of those things where yes it, it's, it's frustrating as a united fan because i feel like we get done dirty now obviously there'll be people that think that i'm just being biased and i totally uh, i respect your opinion if, if you've got an opinion you think i'm being biased like please let me know in the comments down below i do respect your guys' opinions i really do and i want to hear what you guys think i just I, i'm giving my opinion first right um so yeah, just I think I think there's a couple of, of harsh ratings in there and a couple of interesting ones. Um, but if we're putting away club bias and, and whatnot, uh, and we look at this um, objectively, I think Ronaldo is still going to be great and in the Premier League. So it's opened a lot more squad building opportunities, perfectly to Bruno and whatnot. Um, Lewandowski, I think 80 pace would have been nice to make him look a bit more usable, but I think he'd be I think he'd still be good. You know, it can maybe, or if he gets a few in form, he's going to have a nice card. Messi is great because then we've got left wing Neymar, Messi right wing, and, and Mbappe up top. That's nice. Um, so that's going to be great for uh, for Messi, Mbappe, whatnot, uh, for the uh, for the old, uh, I, I guess you could call it Eminem, um, the Eminem uh, front three. Um, old Black looks decent as well. Hairline's seen better days, but... It is what it is. Uh, and Gola Kanza looks obviously great as well. Sonic 5 Star 5 Star is going to be phenomenal too. Um, so we still got some great cards, right? I'm not too disappointed. We still got some great cards and we'll have more to come. Um, but yeah, it's one of those where I thought it was a little bit interesting, a little bit harsh at times. Um, I think it's uh, very interesting. And then I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So they are the, the top 22 ratings uh, for uh, FIFA 22 confirmed by EA and then also Chelsea and a few different ones here and there. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support on the videos and I'll see you lads later.